off your bike. Okay? Sit well first. Then we would measure your bike. So I have. Oh, sorry. You okay? Yep. <laughs> um, so this is the move bike that's set up for. Um, that picture wouldn't be there if it actually built your bike for me. Uh, and what we try to do is tell this camera over here behind you, or in front of some people, um, this would measure your bike for me. So you would have all the before measurements. So if I had to drop your saddle by two centimeters, like they're doing now, then I don't want to do this to you bang all of a sudden, unless you were happy with it. Um, I would tell you to get there over time, over about a month or two months, to get down that low, or to get up that low. A couple of mils, your body will get used to it right and quick. But you get a fit done with me on Monday, and then phone me on Tuesday crying because I put your saddle up. Of course you're going to be sore. Yeah, you're, I, well, for me, I've been riding the bike forever. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be sore. So we would measure your bike again, the before and after. All right, and this here is your measuring device. So when we click on here, and the computer doesn't work, yeah, because it works on Bluetooth or some mad program. So everything you get with me, you'll get a before and after. with people coming in yeah like do you see majority of people are too high on the saddle and just or yeah too high too high definitely too high uh, it's, a, it's a trend i've seen from from a lot of other people who have looked at people that their saddle's too high uh, i just make everything softer if the some people can fit people for racing but you're not racing all the time you're not racing i fit people to be comfortable on the bike yeah. So if your saddle's too high, it might be because that you sit too far forward on the bike, which puts your seat down. That makes sense. I'm going to be alright for racing then as well. Yeah, because I don't race on the river, right. which is in the front of my saddle the whole time. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, I'm sitting in a bunch riding through. So the one test will be if you do take it racing? Yeah, certainly. Mally Tiger, who races for a French team, was out with us yesterday in the mudroom. And Perfect advertisement for me. He says, Well, Molly, what about you? How are you doing? He says, How'd you go? And he says, I wouldn't go back to where I was. And his dad fed him, which is me, Tiger, which is a very nice guy, been about the business for a long time. But he came down to do the last wee bit with me, which he can't do by eye, but I can do it here. And I said, Happy days, get you up there and tell my boss what a good job I'm doing. So it was a good bit of advertising for me. So this here, we measure your bike. So these cameras over here measure your bike for me. So it tells us where the front of the bike is. Okay? Tells you where the back of the bike is. Yeah. I'm just going through it quickly. Tells you what a what all the buttons are. If this was your bike, you would be doing the exact measurements on the actual face. And it tells you where the front wheel is. Telling the bike, the camera's over here, all about your bike. Work it out, step to the bottom bag. Because it's dead smart, it won't need to do a full circle. Handlebars. So we're able to go back to the start to where I was after I do all my changes. Compare your saddle to whether your saddle's going up in the air or down. Your hoods are and your saddle height. 
So then if you're interested in a bike, then I can upload it onto my file, onto my computer, and show you sitting on your bike. So if you're between a 52 and a 54, I'll be able to show you, you on a 54 and a 53, and say that you need a 52, and there you go on the TV screen. You actually sitting on your bike, <coughs> instead of me doing Because you can have short legs on back, then this tells you your measurements. So it tells you that the saddle height is 71.7. Okay? And it tells you that the saddle behind the bottom bracket is 7.2 centimeters. So you have all this here to go back on. Alright? This Rito bit, no, this is generic, not like the body club. Yeah, so body geometry is what I do. Body geometry, right. But Rito on the back of it. Okay? So the story behind me too is that Specialized bought me too. So I was a Specialized Body Geometry bike fitter, but I didn't have the cameras and the numbers. And instead of Specialized building another one, they just do what Specialized do and bought the company. Yeah. So they done the same. The Marie didn't build the Specialized bikes. They get the <coughs> best people in the world to build their stuff. Dr. Andy Coots runs Body Geometry and works for Specialized. And he's sports medicine in Colorado. So they don't, yeah, they just don't get the best people to do it, yeah, so it teaches me, so this all comes from, like the cop that door, the guy John Dennis, who's my new <coughs> instructor, was with Cavendish and Italy, that's his new team, doing his bike fit, so it's the same bike fit that them guys are getting, on the bottom of the armor road, it's a bit mad, yeah, so they're in California, and they're in um, Italy, with Cavendish, doing the exact same thing as this is. Okay, so we're going to get you up on your bike, and we're going to start doing changes. So we fit you by eye first. If anybody wants to have a wee dab at helping the guys in the club, do fix. Yeah, 50 pounds to say <coughs> that kid's shop that probably my friend goes here with a club. Oh, yeah. street or Young Street, is it? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah screw fix, 50 pounds. Best thing in the world. This will help you so much. How we thing there? Pop it on here, okay? So we talked about riding your knees in and knees out. We talked about lateral movement, whether you need your cleats in or cleats out. This tells him how to bike. Okay, so what we like? Is that a Yeah. Oh, just kicks out. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to, we, we want to do that early, but yeah. ever so slightly, so maybe it's clean. We'll start with the feet. You never put anything in the anybody's shoes if they don't need it. So what you need to do, put your cleats the whole way out of the back and put that cleat there in to push your shoe out. Sounds with. If you were still tracking out, then a couple of power washers, they come out the way. Yeah. And then when he loses this, yeah, <laughs> it will stay in as well. Yeah. I know, it loved me so much. Don't step with her with a tape on if you just leave this. No. Yeah, leave. So the last softies on the plate, she'll yeah. take the lance. No, no, that's what you're going to shout at me. Yeah. Um, so we fit you by eye first. Oh, so no, like just when you go there, you put that down. I'm, I'm not telling you. You're going to get the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> And the same on this side. But you're not fitted to the bike yet. No, no, no. That one there is worse. Is that it? Yeah. Again, yeah, it's an eagle's out. So what we need to do is put his kick in to bring his shoes out and maybe a couple of pedal washes, but we'll work on that later. Also, when you're doing your fore and aft of the saddle, you put this here where you think the center of the butt ball and bracket is. Pedal up somewhere. Oh. Alright, anywhere. You stick it there. That's roughly the center of the ball and bracket. And then you put your tape. Hello, down for it. Put your tape on the front of the saddle. Mm -hmm. See it splitting there? So the saddle set back is 8 centimeters. So if you were doing your knee over spindle and you wanted to record it, or you wanted to help the guys in the club mm -hmm. to do a bike setup, buy yourself one of those. So we had. So we don't know what size of bike and we're just, just rolling with it. Yeah? 30 degree bend in your knee, yeah? <coughs> for saddle height. So this bony bit here. Just about there, down into about there, into here, tells us that saddle is just border on the low for you, okay? But the saddle step back, you're, you're too far back. 
So about 30 to 40 degrees that you want there on that knee angle, okay? So we're going to put you on a 54 tarmac, because that's what you're riding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Gavin? 54 tarmac. Yeah. We're going to give you 25 mil spacers underneath, all right? There's a 5 mil top cap on there already, this one here. All right, so the top is stacked. That's the height of it. Hello, backwards from it. And the reach on a 54 is just here. Okay. So we haven't touched the fore and aft, which is your saddle. This is your cockpit. Yeah. That's the back. All right. So turns for a big fan of this because it's wrong. <laughs> they um, think they shorten the reach from their bikes by pushing their seat forward. Yeah. All they're doing is shortening the fit. But they're pedaling backwards now. The kids pedaling backwards. Yeah, by pushing that saddle forward, it puts your knee too far mm -hmm. forward to the spindle. And pushing your seat back, then you pedal like that there. Okay? So the saddle for the back half of your bike, the fore and aft, it's just for the back and your knees. This is your reach. It only does that. By pushing your seat forward, it doesn't shorten the reach. Right, okay, we've got 120, 100 mil stand to use, yeah? Okay, I'm going to give you 20 mil spacers on the knees, okay? Okay, 25 mil spacers. Yeah. And then we're going to make sure that your knee is over the spindle. We know we don't have a leg discrepancy, so we should be able to get both from the same place. Alright, and pedal backwards for me. Okay, and just stop about there. Just lift your hands for me. Rest, rest it on my hands. Just about there. To the thumb. So these guys won't have this bike in the house. So get yourself to spirit level. Anybody interested in fit and helping the boys? I will I will maybe think that. Yeah, so that we laser, we spirit yeah. level, <coughs> pop that onto the bike. Yeah. And we make sure it's level. I have one belt in for this bike. As soon as that's level, give him the rest of his hand on there. So he'll do that on the other side for you. So see what happens in the knee angle. Yeah. <coughs> so it's, yeah. So if he puts that down, he puts his saddle back. So it's by resting his shoe on my hand, it gets you in the ballpark. You're not too far away. Make sure that you run the thumb down the front of his patella, his kneecap here. Yeah. Okay. And we see the saddle's too far forward. Yeah, where you want where you want the thumb to be in the middle of the seat? Touching the front of the spindle. Okay, okay so you're front of your kneecap, front of the spindle. That's knee over spindle. What's the spindle? I just the front of the, the, front of the crank arm. Oh, right. You don't see it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, so we want that touching. At the moment we've got about two fingers there. Very yeah, so what we do is then we bring him forward. Which one forward? Alright, move his knee back. Okay. But you'll have your bike here, so I'll be putting, I'll be moving the wheels on the saddle. Mm. Alright. So we know we'll have them in a far better place, so we're not going to get an injury. So this is me fitting you by eye. And that's what you guys need to be doing as well. And this will get you in the ballpark. Yeah, we can have the option to move it enough. Side back and forth. If it's the right size of the bike. You can't ride my 54 without having to lay back seat force like that. Okay? We don't, we don't have a leg discrepancy, we know we'll have them in a good place. Put your hands on the hoots for me, Taylor. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> then we'll put your hands on your hips for me and then ride your bike. Okay? So we we know that he's not moving and he's not like this for me and he's not like this. I can see that on the hips turning. Especially if you have a leg discrepancy, you can see that coming around. So we know he's in a pretty good place. I'm going to measure his chest as well. All right, I'm going to tell you all what size of handlebars you need to buy. Okay, so come up out of the bars for me and stop pedaling. So the pony bit from here to here are 42s. Okay, my handlebars are that way. Yeah, my handlebars are that way. I don't ride 42s because I ride 42s like that. Yeah, I'll ride 44s like that. I'll ride 38s like that. The rest of my bars are that. The rest of my mountain bike boys are that way. Road, that. That's why I ride a 54 and not a 56. Yeah? Put your hands out. Yeah? So that's probably comfortable for you, yeah? yeah. So it's probably about 40, the same as me. Alright, put your hands down to the side. 
40 to cap. So have you ever banned handlebars by 40? Who can put your hands on the side for? 43s. Alright, Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to mention? Yeah. I bought a forty. Probably about thirty-eight. You just said it was outside. You're probably thirty-eight. What's the what would you get on a bike where I had me ask? Yeah. Well, does it depend on the size? Is there a norm? No, there's thirty-seven. Um, what I thought, man, is you can thirty-seven, but don't make thirty-seven to go for thirty-eight. Yeah, it goes thirty-six. Okay. Yeah. So this is the best thing to buy. So you're thirty. 36. Right. Okay. Right. So at the end of this report, you'll get the size of saddles to buy, what best of bars to buy. This is why this is the best money you'll spend. Uh, and the band that and see and more. <laughs> yeah. But you're but not my little bar for 40. <laughs> yeah. But you, you, why did you buy them? Why did you buy 40s? I thought it was 40. Mm. Yeah. And I bought a saddle because I like the look of it. Yeah. I thought no, that's. No, I actually thought I was 40. Yeah, no, you're phone to bone. Yeah, phone the bone there, 43 all day long. And the previous bike was 380. Yeah, okay. 43. Okay. So yeah, you're lucky. Yeah. What, 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 what is the standard bike then? Is there a standard? Yeah, you need 43. What about the bike at the standard? 44 is the least, okay. Um, 40, on a 54, you'll get 42 bars, so that's my bike. Yeah, but I have them now. You buy smaller ones? I buy 40s. Which is smaller? You might buy 60. 62, so you don't have 44, you should be okay. 43. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're slightly broader than 44, you're about 46, so I don't know whether they do. I usually top out at 44. Okay. Um, okay, stupid question, like, but obviously that is according to results. Centre to the centre. Centre to centre, not out. Yeah, centre to centre. These ones here are 44s. Okay, so there are two lives coming with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like this. I know. Yeah. Marginal gains, this is all about marginal gains. It's just been manufactured from edges. It's for the center of the center. Yeah, there's the bars that I'll be doing. My, my measurements are here. Yeah, you get bars that flow out at the bottom for riding in the top. Here, center to the center, all day long. Yeah, and during the fit, you'll get to use, even on your bike, I can take this step off and video you and show you on your Harley Davidson and on your bike. So certainly when he was riding his bike, put your hands on the hood, he'd be getting back to him up here. Yeah, because that's reach. You stretch him, he does this, he's reaching out further. So I need to do this here to him and bring him back to his shorter stem to bring him in. So what did he say you were? 42. 40, 40, 40, 42. 42. 42. So if you had your bike here, we would do this for you, and then put your ordinary bars back on again, and your ordinary stem back on, and tell you this is what you need to buy. You don't have to buy anything. Alright. At the end of your credit report, you know what to buy. I have two boys in the mortgage and oil, and Christmas coming up. I can't afford even a working bike shop. I can't afford all this stuff. Um, Wait, can, can I take you back? You see when we get the saddle there? Mm -hmm. You've got two different types of seat posts, haven't you? You've, you've got a, a, a little 25 on the 20. 20 usually comes in the bike. 25 on that. Yeah. Well, I'll do that for you. And um, you should be able to do that on your bike. Or is that just where it is? Forward and back? Forward and back, yeah. So you push your, if your knee's too far forward in the spindle, or the front of the crank, then push your saddle back, okay? And if it's too far behind the spindle, then push yourself forward. Okay, the only 42s that I've got made up at the moment, I've set a tri on them. Okay, because we've had a triathlon set, which is completely different, but we'll just fire these on for the meantime. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Only <laughs> girl, Hamilton, though. One of those boys. Do you know those boys? That's what I'm honest. We say you do, you do both. You do sort of road and triathlon, but uh, say you just put the bars on your ordinary bike. But don't just go for a bike set. Not a triathlon set. Because no. it's not a tri bike. Um, it's a road bike. Right. Yeah. Everyone would be the same apart from your arms. Yeah, when you, when you come forward on the, the drops, 
for the short period of time you're going to be on them right. on a road bike your knee is going to go forward off the spindle anyway but it's only going to be three centimeters it should be at least four centimeters in front of the spindle right it's not going to cause any problems technically with a road bike right. or gt bikes and traffic bikes are specific to that yeah. Okay, so you should see the so difference there right away that you're not riding your bike like that. Right, right. <coughs> you know when you're going, you're going bike. <laughs> I'll check with a little bit. All you check. Yeah, this is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it so you just be a bit smarter on what you're looking for. And you just don't. The amount of people come in here and go, I like, I like that bike. <laughs> right, move on. Yeah. Well, that's it. Looks like me, it? <laughs> you need a wider saddle for me and you. Um, your bars on your 42 it should be fine on your 54. Okay, so why run the plumb line down here? Yeah, through the center of the elbow, down and through the center of the bars. Big straight line. Just run the, the see the pony bit here. There. <laughs> so I'll just run the elbow down the side. You're okay. This one here, of course, so I want you to you kind of get something out of it. You can see the center of the C. Or the nope. C. From here. Right. It's cut in the center of that. Oh, yes, I see the wing eyes. So we used the to have the wee tattoos from this one, you see. You used to have the wee swallows here. That, right. that part off. I have to cut the swallows here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, so it's a straight. So that's the lead up here. See there? Down through the elbow, down through the top of the other side. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the things you need to be looking out for. Also, <coughs> because you don't have measuring devices back in the front, put your hands on the hips for me. On tip with your foot, put your heel on the pedal, pedal backwards. He has to have a completely straight leg where you've got your heel on the pedal, will get you in the ballpark. So when you clip your foot in, you've got a 30 degree bend on your knee. All right? You want to be riding your bike like you're wiping chewing them off the floor. Just like that. Not like that. And not like that. Okay, so when you put your heel on the pedal, straight leg, put the ball of your foot on the pedal, you set a 30 degree bend. Gets you in the ballpark. Okay, so all this is just getting you in the ballpark. Okay? So what then we do, is we start you up. You want to come to this side, and I'll just do one side, and we'll, we'll quickly, go, quickly go through it. You put your hands, this is your default. Alright. So this is then, after we do everything and we're happy with everything, then I turn the cameras on and do the last wee bit. And this is where I could be working flat to the mat for the next hour. Trying to get both sides even, best we can. And then, as I say, we get to a certain stage after three hours, my head's melted with numbers, and I go, that's the best we're getting you. Yeah. yeah. If we want to work harder, then you'll come back and see me, and we'll, we'll try and get it better. And I can work for three hours on somebody's saddle, trying to get those marginal gains, and trying to work with them. And that's what people do to me. They come in, and we spend time. But that's people who are probably at a higher level than me, at least, anyway. So we look for some points, and then we dot you up, and then we wire you up to the screen. Okay? So we're looking for the widest part of the foot, and we just get you in there, and we dot that one up there. Okay? And we maybe do his heel. Okay? So this is maximum, sorry, minimum and maximum, okay, of his pedaling action. Then we find out where his angle range is, so pedal forward from it. Okay? And the wee flat spot there, we pop it on there. Okay? So the white dots are for two. And these black ones are for skin, for stickier. Okay. And then we're looking for. Yeah. Then we're looking for. We're looking for this part here, so we just find our groove and what we're looking for. Get that wee joint there. So this is your. We do your shallow height now, okay? So this is knee for the foot, knee for the spindle. This is all we do with your angle remains. Then we check for shallow height. Very hands on as well. Yeah. Yeah, for, for men, women, kids to hold up, but they get the same bike fit. You've got the same joints in the same place. Once you fit one person, it's just. You're so simple with the 
Certainly for anybody who would feel uncomfortable or discomfort, just let me know, okay? <laughs> and that's all the dots. <laughs> okay, so that's him dotted up. And then while he's riding his bike, I'll get him the pedal. Pedal for me. Keep pedal. Then we can swing him around. You know what I mean by being dressed on a bike? Yeah, so you get on your bike, you go down the street, you do it like this, and you get comfortable, and then that's you for the day. If I got him off the bike, I got back on the bike, then my measurements could be wrong. So by having this floor, and being able to do this, and record both sides, we know we have a move. So this is test, this is going to give us the most accurate data. Alright, stop having for me there. Then we wire him up the TV screen, the wee sick man, wee sick man there, yeah, and this is me working on the numbers. Back here, this guy gets, all those guys get, they use this. So there's people like me at retail who go out to training camps and work with all the pros and tell them, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. So that's me doing all my own. On Christmas like this, are you? That's what it's like, yeah. Laugh. You don't think back to this moment when you're sitting there with a bag going, oh my god, I don't know, people will care. I'm going to take a Christmas tree out of the store. Yeah. <laughs> the light's still on. <laughs> okay. And then we felt cool with this on. Okay, so we know I would not get to this stage unless I was happy to get to this stage. I don't want to be moving the pedal that much, just marginal. So we're pretty happy that you're in a good place. And this is really just giving you more information about the moon, please. <laughs> okay, so I need you all back over this side because my cameras work towards me, okay? And then we're going to get on the pedal and then we're going to talk you through the numbers. Um, and probably can get you perfect. Okay, so we'll try and explain. Um, so there usually is, there usually is probably two people max in here with me when they get in the fit. So I would have um, Matty, um, that I had him with his mum and dad, because he's been riding his bike forever. He's become a professional cyclist. His dad doesn't want somebody messing with him without him knowing. So it'll be the same as my son. I'd be looking to see what somebody was doing, okay? So you can have somebody here with you in the fit, I don't really care. They can sit and read the paper, you the phone, whatever. Um, there's never this amount of people. It's always good hot and sweaty and warm in here because we're working hard. So the first three sets of numbers is about angling. So we do starts on the feet, okay? This, these two numbers here are two words. <laughs> The flexion and extension. Flexion's coming up the way, extension's going down the way. That's the most important numbers. If you ride with your tippy toes, that's the way you ride your bike. Yeah, if you ride with your knees out still, that's the way you ride your bike. If you ride sitting, looking over the hedges, and your back angle's wrong, that's the way you ride your bike. If I bust your knees, then I'm good. Yeah, so I have to work on these, okay? So I told you between 30 and 40 by eye, it's 35 and 40, okay? Tight hamstrings around the 40, and good hamstrings up to 35. Knee forward to spindle is knee forward to spindle, okay? So that's the bottom half of you. I'm trying to wrap up for you as oh best yeah. I can, okay? Oh, don't mind. I'm just going to go to spindle. 
What's that? Happy no problem. Well, okay. I'll try and quickly go from nearly finished. So these numbers are all numbers, and they mean more than me than you. We're only going to concentrate on these ones here, okay? And work with some help. This one? This one, aye. So that's him pedaling. This is, if you watch up on the screen, this is his knee tracking. So you can see he rides his knee quite a lot um, out from the frame. The frame of his bike's over here. The center of the axis is here. And he rides with his knee out. Okay, saddle height's too low. Pedaling technique's not too bad. My job is trying to get all these numbers right. So we've done it by eye, and we know the saddle's too low. He pedal for me yet? Yeah. On your bike, I would be telling you come up out of the saddle, push your bum forward, I would come in and work on your saddle and push the saddle up. Okay, so we need to go up. Look up the roof for me. The TV was put over there because I came back from retail and was able to cheat by having the TV in front of myself. You'll not be able to cheat when you're riding into more roof talking to each other. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, it's 150 points. Okay. Um, nice Christmas present. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, it's three hours, it's time, it's 30,000 pounds worth of equipment, it's a lot of information. Um, yeah. But what I've shown you tonight will get you in a better place. And that's what I'm here to do, first of all, is to make sure that you've got knees over spindle, saddle height right, the handlebars right as well. You'll probably use a 155 saddle, do a 160 saddle, okay? For all those reasons that so you're a woman and a man. <laughs> okay, um, so we just need to go back up on the saddle, so you just 42. Yeah, thanks very much. Here. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so we know that we're too high there now. We've got all those red numbers, so we're too high. Oh, okay. So we need to come back down again. So when I've got an Allen key in your seat post, you can see that I'm moving this 2.5 mil per turn. It's really hard to see with my eyes, 2.5 mil on a seat post. Sometimes you go past it and go, ah, shit, I should have left it alone. Okay, so we know that his knee is too far back over the spindle. It should be minus 40 to 20. So he needs to come forward. Because I brought him up, he's went back. So this is your four and a half in the saddle. So I would need to start pushing the saddle forward. But because I've got a super duper moon bike, now I don't need to do that. So you can see my jaw can melt my head quite a lot. It looks like it's one thing, it's not Yeah. So after three hours of me chasing the holy grail, <laughs> I'd feel a better place. Yeah, we can work more. Uh, okay, so you're in a pretty good place there now. I would say you're dropping your heel maybe a bit too. You need to drop your heel as you now. You see that pedal uh, technique? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so bring your right knee in against your chest. So watch this line. Bring the bring knee in. That's where I want you to be. Right. Okay, so you need to have bring your feet out, uh -huh. and we gotta put a couple of wedges in on each your wee toe to bring your knees in. I guess it's falling naturally. It's going in. Yeah, of course it goes naturally. Yeah, because that's that's the shape of it. Right. It tells you that your back angle is good. It needs to be between 40 and 50. Your hip angle range is good, and your reach is good. Okay. Um, I'll allow you to ride the bike faster. Faster. Okay. Um, okay. Try and keep your knee in, and then say it. Just let it fall out again. And look up the road and up the desk for me, maybe. So you can see he's 6mm out of what I want. And he's got loads of lateral movement in his knee, so you're going to have really bad knees. Yeah, so you need to get insoles in and we need to flick the end of it. 
but other than that, that's a perfect bike for you. When we do this side, then we would throw you around while you ride your bike, and then all the numbers are wrong, and then I go ask you. Uh, so you can, I try and work and get you in the best way as possible. Okay? So we finished there, and you're pretty much perfect. All the red and green numbers are for fit on a road bike. PT would be different, mountain bike would be different. They'll highlight what numbers to try and work with. These are only for road, okay? That's so because it's different muscles for different... Different shapes, yeah. So yeah. for for our man, I won't have you set up for doing a sprint traveling. Right. Sprint traveling would be like this. Yeah. You can't ride your bike like 100 miles in that position, and then get off and run a mountain. Uh, so we got to think about hip angles being open. Okay? And then we take a video of you. <laughs> don't know what you're doing there. <laughs> and that's you fit it to your bike. <laughs> okay. So that, that's kind of what we're looking for. That's him pretty much fitted on the bike. And then at the end, this last page is me building the report. I hit that because I was saved. I changed that because I thought two weeks would be enough, but four weeks. Ride your bike for four weeks. I guarantee you a hundred percent satisfaction. I really do. If you're all unhappy, come back and see me, free of charge. I ride a bike. I know him. I know both of you. This is my job. It's your bones I'm working with. If I hurt somebody, or somebody's unhappy, come back and see me. Let me fix it, or we can discuss it, or move forward. Instead of you going, oh, I'm clean out, things like Yeah, I'd rather you come down and see me. You do it once for one bike and then that'll apply to all road bikes. You take in the ballpark, yeah. Much. You got that wee laser it'd be good for you for your fore and aft and all. But if you got your bike you're using now, fit it and we've done the full fit, then it's only fifty pounds per bike after that. Oh, right. So I get people in who have two bikes. I've done a summer bike mm. and I use that's the winter bike and he did some. And we come down, we wire them up to the screen, we do <coughs> all the changes because we know what to change. I measure it all by eye. 73.2 mil, yeah, we do all that there, I know when you're in the right ballpark, that probably takes about a half an hour, half an hour in numbers, <coughs> job done. What would be deciding factors for new bikes then, an accident or age or whatever you want, <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you want, you know for him it'll be every year for growth, yeah, yeah. yeah. for you it could be just getting your bike done now and be happy and not cause any injuries. Yeah. So if you're having any pains in your knees left and right, it's all due to insoles. Saddle is here and here. Okay. Sore back <coughs> is with the saddle. Handlebar reach. That's the kind of thing you'll do it once then, wouldn't you? Really? It's something that does then last you. Okay. Oh yeah. You'll have a 13-page A4 report, and you'll have an email. You'll have videos. I'll have a, a full list of people I've already fitted. So just here. You know, I can I can type in your name here, and I can go through everybody I've set up, yeah, and, and have it done. Um, I'll show you one photo of this guy here because he, his back angle was ma was mad. This is the guy with the city, okay? So oh, he's had married on, Harry. Right. Okay, so he's had his two bikes done. He has a specialized done. He's had his calling deal done. Um, so we don't see of any of your reports. And the computer crashes because it's technology, and you have to go thirty thousand pounds. Oh yeah. I think I have a long back. So that Yeah. But you'll be able to get your bikes um, all on the same, or as close as you don't need to come back and see me. I'll be able to tell you what to look for. I'm at the end of the phone, mm. or you just drop me an email, or pop down and see me. This guy's 64, physio told him to ride his back, back out. You can see um, this is him when he first came to see me. Look at the state of his back. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. See it? It's crazy. Look at the hump on his back. That's really mine, isn't it? Yeah. So when he finished seeing me, that was me. Didn't need to ride his chest out, just needed to work with him a wee bit. Mm. Yeah? And then. His your report will look like this. This is what you get. You get your fight bike fitted. You know what to buy. You get your name, 
the shop, me size the bike, what the fit's done. Your full physical assessment, so whether you can touch your toes, blah blah blah. You get your my measurements.